with the control cabinet door open, you can see the various control components. The left hand side has the main disconnect switch with the shaft coming through the opening there. Various circuit breakers. The top control board for the uh, ISU. The lower control board for the motor control unit. And below that is terminal blocks and relays for the control of the drive. The various terminal blocks are the 110 volt control and 24 volt common along with jumpers for various interlocks that could be tied in there. At the bottom of the cabinet is the DC power supply. It will be powered up as soon as the drive is turned on and that's what uh, sends power to the control boards before the drive is actually started to run the motor. By opening the cabinet door, you can see the power connections internally. These power connections are for the line side. They're bus bar connected up to the feasible disconnect switch. Back in that space behind is where the transformers would mount for uh, the control voltages and the fan voltages. On the right hand side is the motor connections. The entry for the power connections can either be from the bottom through the gland plates on the bottom or up through the top passing down through the uh, back there and there are gland plates on the top also.